Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today we are looking at a product which is not new, but is certainly incredibly popular. It's the ATH M50X headphones from Audio Technica. Let's get to it. The ATH M50 headphones are not Audio Technica's flagship model by any stretch, but they are without doubt the most recognizable product in their range. Beloved by YouTubers, filmmakers, musicians, and general listeners alike, they were based on the template laid down by the previous ATH M50s, but added a replaceable cable. When I approached Audio Technica about reviewing some headphones, they were keen to push me towards some more DJ specific models in their lineup. But I've long been intrigued by the M50s. I see them being used by DJs out and about pretty often, and I wanted to know what the appeal was. Priced under $200 in the US, they sit squarely in a very crowded product category. So why have they risen above the noise? Well, for that kind of money, they do certainly look the part. I've been testing this limited edition red and gold pair, rocking that Tony Stark look, which I think is incredibly striking. The standard set is black with silver accents, and they have other limited colorways which come up from time to time as well. The sound from the 45mm drivers is definitely impressive for a sub $200 pair of headphones. I wouldn't go so far as to call them audiophile cans, but the clarity is very good, the bass is solid but not overwhelming like with some competitors, and overall they are reasonably flat, enough for accurate monitoring in high pressure environments. There's definitely a touch of boost in the high end, which occasionally threatens to get shrill with some genres, but never quite tips over the edge. Overall, I'm very happy with the sound for DJ purposes. The M50Xs are big, beefy, over-the-ear headphones, which is very much a love-hate thing. Devotees of Sennheiser's diminutive HD25s will probably find the size of these rather overwhelming, but I personally have been leaning much more towards designs like this in recent years. I just find it more comfortable. That's helped on the M50Xs by the amount of flexibility the headphones have. As well as folding down to fit into the supplied carrying pouch, the cups also rotate a full 90 degrees laterally in each direction, so they clamp down on your head nicely in any position. They were still very comfortable to wear over long periods though, even with my large head, although I suspect people with smaller heads might struggle to get them especially tight. They are just pretty big headphones all round. The ear cups are angled slightly away from vertical, which works well with the headband on top of your head. In the position I wear my cans when DJing, with the headband tilted towards my forehead, I found it more comfortable to switch the M50Xs around, with the right hand side on the left and vice versa. They just seem to sit better that way for me. Speaking of the ear cups, the pads are also very comfy, as is the headband padding, and the faux leather material seems to be very durable and sweat resistant too, with no sign of wear after 7 months of testing. My only beef with the headband is that the material around it bunches up somewhat if you have a large head, which is not so pretty. When it comes to construction, the M50Xs may be chunky, but they are also very plastic. The headband is metal and takes an absolute hammering, as you can see here. Beyond that though, the majority of parts are indeed plastic, which I was cynical about at first, but in reality, they really do seem to be very solid. I haven't treated the review pair very well at all, going out of my way to abuse them as much as I could, and they've held up superbly. There are no weird creaking noises or parts that have loosened up, or any signs of stress fractures. Sound isolation is not the best I've come across, probably due to that plastic construction, but it's still good enough for most situations. Overall, I think this is a case where good design is more important than the materials used. The big change from the earlier M50 model is the addition of a replaceable cable, which in my opinion is absolutely essential on DJ headphones, as it's always the first thing to break. With the M50Xs you get three cables in the box. There's a 1.2 meter straight cable, which is too short for DJing, but ideal for use on the go with your phone. There's a longer 3 meter straight cable, which I loved, but it is perhaps a touch too long, as I found myself tripping over it in the booth at times. And finally, there's a coiled cable, which stretches from 1.2 to 3 meters, which will be the one most DJs will go for, I'm sure. The latter two can accept the included quarter inch adapter if your gear needs large jacks. The jack at the headphone end is of the locking type and does have a slightly unusual, very long connector. But with the M50Xs being so popular, there are a bunch of third party cable replacements on the market. So you should find it easy to find a new cable in a hurry, should you need one. So there you go, my take on the ATH M50X headphones from Audio Technica. I went into this review with some preconceptions because they're not a new product 
and they're hugely popular and that means there are dozens if not hundreds of reviews out there on the internet already many of which i've watched or read so i kind of knew what to expect when it came to the sound quality when it came to what you get with them the value for money the build quality and so on i kind of had a good idea but my question was how well do they actually cope with the rigors of dj life because djs you know we abuse headphones like nobody else on the planet are they going to cope with being thrown into the bottom of a DJ bag, loads of other stuff piled on top of them week in, week out? Is that going to be something that these can cope with? And truth is, yeah, it is. You know, they are incredibly plasticky. There's no getting away from that. The construction of these is pretty much all plastic apart from the headband. And so for me, that was like a warning sign going off. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm thinking back to the Sony 700s back in the day, which used to die all the time. Anytime I see lots of plastic on a headphone, I get wary. But with these, I've had them for months. I've taken them out to loads of gigs. You know, they've used them in the lab and editing videos and all kinds of stuff. They still look as good as new. There are no real obvious points of failure that are showing up. Everything looks still brand new and solid and reliable. They feel as good as they were when they came out of the box. So yeah, overall, I am confident to say these will cope with DJ Life very well indeed. Now, value-wise, they're excellent. They're under 200 bucks. Now I looked on amazon.com today and they were varying like 130 bucks for the black ones, right up to you know, 200 for something like this, a limited edition. So you will find a variation in price. Another great thing though, is that you can buy these from like regular electronic stores. You don't have to have a DJ specific store to buy them from because they're out there all over the place. If you need a pair last minute, you can get them. Now I never would have recommended the original ATH M50 because that didn't have a replaceable cable. I cannot recommend a DJ headphone that doesn't have a replaceable cable. Now we've got that here. You get a good selection in the box and there are some good third party options as well. So from that point of view, they are gonna last as well. You're not gonna be having headphones with a dead cable within six months. You'll be able to replace that and keep on trucking. So yeah, overall, I understand now why these are as popular as they are. I do get it. And I think if you're looking for a big over the ear style headphone under 200 bucks, these are a great choice. Thank you for watching today. Do make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon down below to get notified anytime there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.